How many times have you tried to make a video or had inspiration to make a video and then you have to go through the process of setting everything up, getting all your camera settings right, getting your studio right, getting your audio levels right, and then by the time you've set everything up to make a video, you've lost the creative inspiration and you just can't be bothered to make it anymore. Or it just takes you so long that by the time you've got to the point where you can actually hit the record button, you've completely lost the idea out of your head. That happens quite a lot. Now, as creators, we get spontaneous ideas that come into our heads and you just want to have the most seamless, easy setup so it's ready to go no matter what you're doing. And I'm going to show you some very simple settings so that you can just hit record and start making your video straight away without any issues. And this works for both gaming and talking head videos. So I have some very simple settings. My studio is set up so it's completely streamlined and all I do is turn my camera on, open up OBS, which I'll talk about in a moment, and then just hit record and I can either make a talking head video or I can go live doing a live game live live stream or make gaming videos very very quickly so these settings are going to work for both talking head and gaming so let me show you exactly what i'm talking about so that you can start making videos very quickly and very easy with minimal fuss Now, the first thing you need to do is download a software called OBS, which stands for Open Broadcast Software. Now, this is a completely free program. If you haven't heard of it, then it's absolutely incredible. And you can put so many plugins on it, add different things like videos. If you're doing live streams, you can add graphics, you can add subscribe buttons. So if you want to subscribe to the channel, you just click that button and this appears magically there. Click the button below. But then it, you can add so many different things to it. Videos, graphics, subscribe buttons so many different things that you can just enhance your videos or live streams. It's completely free. It's not like other programs where you have to pay a monthly subscription to it. It records everything internally to your computer and you can have your camera as one source and the microphone as another. Or if you have your microphone connected to your camera, you can just have it as the same audio source. And everything just works seamlessly. And then you record it straight on your onto your computer. So then when you come into recording a video, you then just hit record open it, open up, set up a scene for, I've got, this is my scene, it's the camera, it's the microphone, and it's just as it is in this resolution, and then you just hit record, bang, get going, and it's already saved on your computer, you haven't got to mess around, transferring the file over to your computer, it's already there, drag that file into your editing software, DaVinci Resolve in my case, and then you can just edit it, and it's absolutely perfect. Now, it's not without flaws, obviously, but it's free and so many people use it. Now, there's some settings you're going to want to change between doing talking head videos and gaming videos. So talking head videos, first thing you're going to want to do is go to File and then Settings. Then you're going to want to open up the bit where it says Output. And you've got Output and Video. And these are the only two things we're going to change because once you've set everything up, everything should else should just stay the same. So if you're talking head videos, you want it set to NVIDIA, NVEC, H.264, you want it CBR, 12,000, P7, which is the best quality, and two passes, full resolution. Now, obviously, it depends on how powerful your GPU is and what computer you have. I have a um, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti, I think. So that is pretty good, pretty powerful. It can handle that sort of thing. It might not work for you. You might have a bit of slow... Um, jitteriness and a bit of jumping just look at the monitor version on your screen and see if it's working if it is then go with that uh, and just work with it but these this is the best settings that i use and this is what gives me that great quality on youtube now the next thing you want to do is video and you want it set to 3840 times 2160 which is the full 4k resolution and a 16.9 aspect ratio is basically what everyone uses on youtube it gives you the best quality and then it depends where you are what country you're in i have mine set to 25 frames per second pow because i'm in the uk if you're in the us you can probably have it at 24 or 30 frames per second but just use one of those and have the same frames per second as whatever your camera is so my camera is set to 25 frames per second pow and then obs is set to 25 frames per second pow because that avoids any issues there that is all you need for talking head now for v for gaming you're going to want to change this to hvec which is the better encoded for gaming in my opinion not everyone agrees but i think it is and this works for live streams as well then you want to set it to cbr 12000 same settings and then the preset drop it down to p5 because if you're trying to live stream and record a video it's going to really take a toll on your gpu and your pro processor and the ram 
So what you want to do is drop that down to P5. So it just takes some of that pressure off and then drop the multipass mode to this one, which is quarter resolution. So you go to P5, good quality, and then two passes quarter resolution. The next thing you want to do is go into video, change the frames per second to 60, because 60 frames per second for gaming is just so much better, because all you're doing is screen recording your screen. You're not doing any sort of talking head stuff. So you want it to set to 60 frames per second, because that gives you that extra smooth gameplay rather than the jitteriness. And then you want to change the resolution to 2640 times 1440, which is basically the resolution for 1440p, which is just higher definition HD rather than 4K, because you don't really need the full 4K resolution for gaming. You just don't really need it. There's not many games that actually run in it. And to actually consume it on a mobile phone or a computer or a TV, wherever you're watching the live stream, you don't need that full resolution. The quality is more than good enough for in 1440. So those are really the only settings that you need. Now let me know in the comments if you have any difference with your settings. But for me, whether I'm doing a live stream, whether I'm gaming and doing a live stream gaming stream in Call of Duty or The Last of Us or Spider-Man or whatever games I'm playing on my gaming channel, it, if I'm doing a live stream, I just change those settings and it takes me 30 seconds to change. And then I just go and do a live stream. And if I'm doing talking head stuff, I just change it back to the talking head settings. And I've got different scenes, one for gaming and one for talking head. So all I do is switch between those scenes, change those settings, and then I'm good to go for either of those two things. And if I'm out and about and get any inspiration to make any sort of talking head video, and I'm like, oh, that's a brilliant idea. I should just make that video off the cuff like this one today. Then all I do is come in, turn my camera on, open up OBS, make sure those settings are right, and then hit record and bang, I'm good to go. And it works brilliantly. Your audio is set, your video is set, and it just removes any issues and just streamlines your process for making videos. Now, it's not perfect. Obviously, if you want the best quality imaginable, then you would just record straight onto your camera with an inbuilt microphone, like a, a hot shoe mic that's plugged straight into it. And you could just then transfer the file and then edit that. That would be the gold standard. But I'm just talking about how to streamline your process. And this process has worked for me for about two years, apart from when I use some B-roll shots when I'm out and about and things like that. But if any talking head, these are the settings I use. So let me know in the comments below if this is something similar to what you use. And if you want to join the 30-day Vlogtober challenge, then click the link up here to see exactly what that is and what I'm doing.